giving surgical robots a human touch. Let's take a view inside the lab of Nabil Saman. When it comes to surgery, paying attention to what's around you isn't a game. This may look like a toy, but it's transforming the future of surgery with a sense of touch. I would like to be able to do things that appear simple to me when I'm doing it on a daily basis with my hands that are currently impossible to do with robotic technology. Vanderbilt biomedical engineer Nabil Saman makes flexible snake-like robots that are situationally aware. What's special about them is that they are also able to sense the environment. Helping surgeons navigate with as few incisions as possible. They're also able to sense that there's a contact and they're able to estimate where contact is just like we are able to do with our own arms. How is this unique? All devices that exist right now on the market essentially are a motion replicators. If I move my hand this way, the robot moves a similar way on the other side, inside the patient. Often doctors can only see the space around the tip of their surgical tool, like a horse with blinders on. What we're trying to do is uh, go beyond the manipulation assistance into a process of where the robot itself is helping you understand what the task is and is helping you achieve the task. Partnering with the surgeon. It's actually better to leave some of the task, for example, of regulating the force on the tissue to the robot controller than having the human worry about it. Helping make good surgeons great. The surgeon is still controlling that level, but they don't have to worry about actively controlling it at every fraction of a second. And making surgery even less invasive. When we do that, we basically reduce recovery time, we reduce the number of incisions. Saman and other Vanderbilt researchers are experimenting on multiple procedures. One is vocal cord surgery, common among singers. Celebrities like Justin Timberlake, Adele, and Whitney Houston all underwent surgery to have their vocal nodules treated. The old procedure can sometimes cause injury. Now you have to undergo full anesthesia, you have to go into full operating room setup. You'd have to insert a tube through the mouth that generally butts against the teeth and helps keep the jaw open. Saman says his flexible robot would go through the nose, bypassing a gag reflex in the throat. This device here has three working uh, lumens, which can deploy a laser, a gripper, a suction tool to help achieve micro-surgical tasks. Turning a major surgery with full anesthesia into a simplified outpatient procedure. We can actually take something that's now expensive in the way we are doing surgery. And we can maybe, with the help of new technology, simplify it, reduce trauma to the patient, and at the same time, reduce cost of healthcare. Saman's robots could be considered the surgical match to semi-autonomous cars. I was supposed to be a uh, car mechanic initially. He started in vocational school, then taught himself math and physics to earn his way into college, graduate school, and now his own lab. Surgical robotics has always been one of those areas at the forefront of robotics because you're dealing with a wonderful integration environment in which you have to integrate computer science, you have to integrate mechanical engineering, all of these different engineering disciplines and scientists disciplines have to come together to solve a problem which is helping improve people's lives. Guiding students and changing the future of surgery.